Sup guys, it's Tenkosh and today we're taking a look at smithing master and specifically we'll be talking about leveling guys and if it's worth to level to the high level early on and use up that crazy amount of resources that you will save up during the early game. So how we will level up? We will use auto crafting for that and instead of using it on the phone, you can do it on the phone as well. I will use the LD player, the emulator on Android. I have the link for this in the video description. You can get it over there and do the same stuff. So what do I do? Um, right now, based on the level of my forging anvil, my highest rarity will be this. Uh, I don't know what's the name of this thing, but yeah, that stuff. And uh, chance of getting it is really low. I'll be next to my PC for a while and we have 2.3 k uh smithing parts over here this is what we have for the gear and this is what we have for the stats so i will select supreme or above and uh, start the auto crafting in the end since the chance of getting that gear is like 0 0.01 percent uh statistically we need to do what 1000 crafting tries to get it we won't be able to get it basically and uh, that way our crafting will just generate xp and gold for us that we'll spend later on for the forging anvil upgrade and that kind of stuff if you want just to level up you can go for even higher rarity you can go for peerless or above for example or origin or above that way you can put this game overnight and it will never stop unless it will run out of resources. That way you can level to the maximum level. But since I'm not that far away from the PC, I will do this or you can go for Extraordinary or above that will give you the better gear. So yeah, let's go Supreme or above, start it and see what will happen. So we will compare the higher level unlocks the stats that they will give us and see if it's worth it to go for the higher level so for now it will take a couple of hours i think i'm not sure let's calculate so it takes 45 seconds in order to do 20 crafts that's 2.25 second per craft it's 5000 seconds in order to finish all the crafting 82 minutes one and a, a bit more than an hour that's actually pretty fast if I calculate everything correctly. Anyway, let it craft and we will see what we will get afterwards. So, we used up all the resources and, well, we got some extra, but let's consider that we use everything. What do we do now? We turn off auto and we... Whoa. Just craft random stuff and now, as you can see, level 50 gear, which is green, is quite a lot better than the legendary gear of level 35. So, we will get extra stats right now. Um, I hope the editor will put on the screen the stats that we had before, that we did a screenshot before, and now as we will put extra gear, we will see the upgrades that we will be getting. So, let's see. Uh, common stuff is still pretty bad, but some of the things can be better, and if we'll get lucky with the good stuff, we will be able to get extra stats. And why we are doing this right now instead of going for high tier gear? Because you might run out of resources and uh, you need to get some crappy weapons, something that will be better. So you will get extra stats and you can do few more levels for the boss or for adventure in order to get more crafty materials. If you are lucky to get epic stuff, take a look at this. We are getting like uh, about 1k health, about 200, uh, 150 attack. Uh, a lot of death and speed, so those bonuses are crazy. Yes, we are losing some secondary stats, yes. But the basic stats are more important, and after that, we can get even better stuff. Moreover, more game mode will be unlocked for you, because in level 50, we get the new dungeons that we can go to. By the way, guys, while we were crafting, we got zero of high tier stuff so we got no supreme stuff whatsoever while crafting i was hoping that i'll get at least one the chances said that uh we should get where are my chances it's like zero zero one percent ah it's ten thousand crafts of course i didn't get it i was hungry and miscalculated so yeah <laughs> the chances of getting that stuff right now is miserable <laughs> We get epic pound on here that's nice so even though we're unequipping our high tier stuff we're still getting quite a good boost to the stats we can actually tune out of this right now so won't have to do it manually and now the gear upgrade right here so we got only two legendary pieces left and we got the high tier weapon so that will stay by the way guys you can click on the same point over here all the time and that will allow you to craft and sell item 
instantly, so you won't have to wait. That's actually pretty convenient and nice. Another gear upgrade. We got Epic. This one is looking cool. Epic helmet with... <laughs> I look hilarious. I'm the sea king right now, I guess. So yeah, uh, we're getting some upgrades to the blue right now. So we almost have no green gear whatsoever. That's actually surprising. I thought that I would have some green stuff on me. Oh, we got legendary pantsu. That's very good. More stats for the god of stats. I wasn't expecting to get anything good to be honest, but we got the weapon and the pants. That's really nice for like what 80 crafts there we go finally i don't have any more forging materials first time ever so um i'm not sure how many i can take a look so before the upgrade we had 57k health now we got 64 it's like what uh six uh, seven k increase attack increased by uh 1.5k speed increase crazy defense increase by uh about six or seven hundred and we got from level 43 to level 51 and that's not it we are not done yet because we can upgrade other things and we get the new dungeon scarlet corridor unlocked we'll get to this one a bit later we got one hour to finish it so let's see if we can defeat the world boss right now obviously we can no we cannot the hell how is this possible we defeated the boss before but we can't do it right now yay we managed to win with the rng and more upgrades and that gave us 160 stones which we can use with auto right now with like um i don't know legendary or above and keep crafting i won't do it right now because i mean it's boring we can get even more crafting materials by going through the stages in the campaign hopefully we'll be able no way the hell is happening do i really need to get that much uh, rng with critical and stuff the thing is i think that secondary stats that we had from the legendary gear were actually quite important because right now we got a low tier gear and it doesn't have secondary stats and we are losing even though we got like 10 increase in stats so that should be really powerful let's do a few more tries no it's not going so that's surprising if you guys were expecting to get a lot of power gain and be able to flow through the adventure after that well you might be wrong because i couldn't do anything unless i will upgrade the gear which i will do a bit later we barely managed to take out the boss and let's see if we can defeat the boss in the tower no we cannot this is hilarious i mean four levels that's a crazy bonus and we got crazy bonus stats so we actually need to craft stuff in order to become better while the stuff is crafting let's take a look at other things we got 142k gold which will help us to level up our forging anvil by quite a lot and that in turn will allow us to get higher rarity stuff easier so that's really important and will help us but it will take time is it worth to go for those crafting things without upgrading it i think yes i think it's worth it because we unlock the new game mode let's go take a look at the scarlet corridor boss hello can i defeat you i can defeat another boss that's good so we actually managed to do a bit more progress with the bosses for the scarlet corridor we click things and what the hell is happening we are getting a bit more gear upgrades now so this will give us critical attack i think and critical damage resist so and even more stats let's keep going the enemies in the scarlet corridor are pretty easy to be honest so uh, at least so far it's not that challenging not that hard uh, the chest contain chest after a while that's interesting we can put it here and it will take time to open can we speed it up no okay period path type port i guess all of the above no we got the boss of the first floor is defeated so we managed to go through it let's defeat other guys because they give us rewards we got the ring upgrade we are getting everything that we need that's nice small tip for this game mode guys i advise you guys to take out the enemies once they appear because if you'll get several monsters with those additional traits they will all be buffed and it will be harder to defeat them other than that the gameplay is pretty straightforward to just take them out and you're good uh, but we're not talking about this today let's keep going with our level increase and there we go we are done with the scarlet corridor we've got some cool chests here that we have to open but uh let's take a look in the scarlet shop how many resources we've got we've got 
4.8k of those Scarlet Essences. And what can we get with those? Not that many things, so it's either... Uh, I would go for Void Pupil because I want to upgrade... Oh, we need Origin Stones as well. So either an Origin Stone or Void Pupil, let's get... How many do we have right now each? I need to calculate. Anyway, let's go into the Secret Stone area and I'll show you how it works if you haven't seen. You can refine, which is basically summon using those things that we've got options to get. Uh, and when you do the refine, you'll randomly summon some of those. I've got one of those called Fate. I get second one right now, which is called Endless Sea Thing. They've got the same stats, so it doesn't matter which one I'll go for. But this one have CTA resistance, while this one have ER re Does I don't know what those things are so far. So, yeah, but later on we'll get extra slots, so we can get more of those. And uh, as we'll do more summons... There is no guarantee, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you summon one or many. As you will keep summoning them, you got some free tries per day. You will be able to get uh, more and more of them and upgrade them, basically. Even better gear. So, yeah, it's still being crafted. We got 100 of those left. And take a look at this. We're already at some uh, mythical tier of gear. But, yeah, I think I'll go for the artifact for the treasure because... For this one, we need more of those to generate their energy, their income, and summoning them. I mean, you can summon them, but you can't buy them without those premium things. So let's get them. So yeah, after finishing the crafting, we can't get anything more. And we get a lot, a lot of new stuff. And final stats are crazy higher. So we got 57k health. Now we got 71. It's almost 20% increase. Attack 14k instead of 11.5. So that's 1.5 bonus. For the speed, we got five, 600 bonus. That's crazy. For the defense, we got 5.6. Now we got 7k. So that's like 1.4k bonus. And we got additional stats. They are not that crazy as before. But still, we get way more power. Let's try to do some more dungeons. So let's see if we'll be able to push through this one. We can't do this. Hey, we actually managed to win it by trying several times. It works. So, yeah, if you can beat someone, just keep trying and you will be okay. So, manage to win one more boss. Uh, I think we'll be able to go through the adventure as well. I'm pretty sure about that. Moreover, we can craft more stuff right now. There we go. We want this so we can go through the campaign more, get more upgrades, more enchants, and uh, basically more power. There we go. So, uh, I think it's therefore worth it. Because first of all, you will unlock additional game modes. You might unlock Taboo Tower if you're early into the game. Scarlet Corridor later. Additional game modes that will allow you to get extra daily benefits. Extra daily gains so you will progress faster. Moreover, you will get crazy power boosts that you can use in order to, well, become stronger and take out stronger foes. Uh, as you can see, no time, I've got additional crafting materials that I can use. We got a lot of gold to upgrade the forging anvil, so we really pushed forward quite a lot. And now, every day, I will get more stuff because I'll be further with the bosses, so I'll get more crafting stuff per day. And everything will be more efficient. So yeah, it's therefore worth to spend all your resources for the idol auto crafting it took me i think about one and a half hour while i was eating and stuff to get this and uh, later on we are getting closer to level 60 now we will get even more stuff that can make us even stronger so yeah if you don't have time to manually use resources to craft things like you should properly checking every item out just select the higher rarity or something extraordinary or rare or origin or like something crazy which is pretty rare for you if you get lucky you're good if not i mean you will just get the levels and then at the new level you can get pretty cool gear pretty fast look at that i'm licking only uh necklace right now everything else is already crafted and i think it was like what 200 craft or something 200 materials and we got everything so it's pretty legit. And yeah, guys, if you want to level faster, you will definitely need to upgrade the forging anvil. But there is no real way to speed it up other than using the finish now things. They are not that many. You can watch add. It will add 10 minutes to it. That's not crazy. Or you can ask for help 
in the guild by uh wait by clicking here there we go it will link it to your guild so people in the guild can help you out but overall it will stay but overall it will still take quite a long so the best way to do this is to leave it overnight and that way you will move most of this time while you sleep and uh for the next day you will be able to craft way higher rarity stuff and uh common gear is becoming rare take a look at that it's, it was 24 percent it will be 19 which is pretty cool no wasted resources and as you know the higher rarity stuff will have more xp per sell so you get xp when you sell items and yeah getting the higher rarity crafts will allow you to level up faster you will get more xp per craft and yeah, it will be a good experience for you. And yeah, guys, if you get extra tips, let me know down below in the comments. That will help me out. That will help other people out. And moreover, it will help to promote the video in YouTube algorithm, just like your likes and subscriptions. Other than that, check out the video description for the links. We have the LD player over there. So you can play this game and other Android games on the PC. We got my other YouTube channels. We got the PC channel with nice games and other mobile channel for idle games. You might like that. And my Discord, social media and other useful stuff. So join in, talk to me, interact and have a nice day evening, whatever you have at your place. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand for show. Have a good one. Bye.